Hey guys, it's Iowa here again, going to bring you another recap. In this one, we faced the Interno Clan, and they were good. They had uh, quite a few wins under their belt, and they brought some uh, strong attacks. You can see what they did to our bases there. They three-starred a lot of our upper Town Hall 9s, uh, struggled a little bit uh, in the middle there, uh, but they gave it their all. They uh, they definitely weren't an internet uh, clan base. You know, they, they had good bases and stuff, so... Uh, good there and you can see what we did to their bases we three starred all the nines and we did have a town hall 10 three star that we'll show you there i'm going to show four attacks here and we'll go ahead and get started with the the first one lamb tam taking on number two uh L lt i'll call him he's been uh, tearing it up for us and in this one he's doing a archer queen walk la loon Again, this is a you know a very common tactic to use at Town Hall 10. Probably one of the best ways to get your three star. So he's just gonna you know put his put his archer queen over there at nine o'clock and then just sit back and let her work for a little bit. Let her take out a lot of the outer buildings. She's gonna grab an air defense in there, and you know just a bunch of bunch of value. Uh, the extra 30 seconds definitely helps. You can uh, let the queen walk a little longer, and so that's what he does there. He just you know, just lets her lets her go to work. So she's just moving moving right along the base there. And you see that this isn't a complete max town hall um ten, but it's a pretty good one. It's got maxed air defenses. The whiz towers are up for, for level ten. You know, uh the walls are, are kinda of pathetic, but hey, in an air attack it it really isn't much about the walls on this one. So I'll get this in two by and we'll just kind of watch watch her work. The, the queen walks a little slow, and like I said, with this extra 30 seconds, you can let her let her walk a lot longer. So you can see here, he got two air defenses uh, with his queen. So that leaves him just two air defenses up top to deal with. He brought a few freezes, some rage, haste, you know, everything good for a La Loon uh, to get him going there. Drop the king in now. He's uh, out front gonna set the funnel with the whiz up top and then push them into the base there puts puts the rage on gonna get over there to get towards the queen does just that now the now the lava lava loon portion starting it's getting everything going he's got a couple of free spells for the inferno towers and it's it's pretty much overkill on the base he's got quite a few loons left the last freeze goes down and then he just uh, crushes the base. So nice attack, man. Way to let the uh, queen go to work. All right, next attack, player. Player has been doing really well lately. He's uh, he stepped up, but and a lot of it I think has to do well. He's he's a good planner. I don't want to take that away, but his, he's got his heroes up. He farmed a lot this summer. Got his. Uh, or this summer fall got his heroes maxed out and ever since then he's been been able to do a lot of work with them so heroes are are important if you're in a war clan or wanting to be in a war clan got to get them heroes leveled up you can do a lot more with them so you can see here he's going to come in up at the upper right hand side setting a wide funnel and then he's going to break in the thing i like about this attack it's not a stone goho per se he's got three golems in there so it's a stone attack but he's got 13 loons and 9 hogs. So this attack is neither a Gola loon or a Goho attack. It's kind of a mix of both. So that's that's when you know you're reading the base well, uh, seeing just what you need to take it out. So uh, good good thinking involved here, player. Nice, nice planning, man. So he's got everything pushing forward there. He brought four earthquakes, and that one caught the corner so he could get his king in there. Uh, to take out the enemy archer queen and he's about to go down now but he did get the job done did get the the archer queen taken out now he starts his hogs over there at nine o'clock they're going to work their way up take out a few defenses there letting his queen work down there at the you know the four o'clock area she's still alive still working it's nice that that expo is tanked onto his golem, so the, them hogs that he put in there, those nine hogs, they're still up and into the fight. Took out that air defense so he could start his uh, loons. So uh, good timing on that. Way to be patient with the loons. Let everything get taken out. And now you can see that there's 
Not much left of the base. Crushed it. Good job, player. We'll kind of skip skip some of the cleanup on these attacks. Next one, I like this attack. Maddie. He's been he's been very creative with his attacks, and, and a lot of his attacks are, are first attacks. He likes to uh, plan them, get out, and and do this. He brought a Goho Drago uh, attack on this. So he's going to come up over on the upper left hand side about 9, 10 o'clock there and he's going to bust his kill squad in through there. And then he's going to use some hogs and a heal spell over at the 3 o'clock air defense and he'll get that going in in a minute. But Maddie, he's been bringing the zap quakes, archer queen walks, then throwing drags and he's really been adding a lot of drag attacks in there and I mentioned in the last recap, our next recap right after this one that I'm going to put out is uh, the arranged war that we had versus immoral thieves, and your guys are going to like that one. It's it was a it was a battle, and they they brought a lot of awesome attacks, and I'm excited to show you a lot of what we did too. So, but anyway, you can see on this attack, Maddie's got his his kill squad going in there. He's taking out air defenses. The goal with this kill squad here was to take out three air defenses. And then he had his hogs there to take out uh, the fourth one at 3 o'clock. So he's got his dragons going now about 6 o'clock. And he's got one air defense left standing. I think he wanted uh, to have a little bit stronger push with his um, kill squad in there. The king uh, fizzled out, died on the heroes there. But the archer queen, she's clutch. She comes through for him here, takes out the air defense. So that was good timing there. Does have a rage left for all the drags here. You see he's got uh, the enemy's got a Tesla farm down there. So it's nice to rage them through there so the drags don't take a lot of that, that DPS coming in there. He's got the Expos and those three Teslas and Arch Tower down there. So it's a lot of stuff coming in on those dragons. All right, they're still working their way across. Just got a few defenses left. I'll kind of speed up a little bit. And they just take the base out. Good. Nice work, Maddie. Keep up keep up the creativity, man. All right. Last attack I'm going to show you. Uh, like I said, we did have a lot of good attacks uh, in this war. I just kind of picked a couple of the ones that, that stuck out that uh, aren't your typical Goho, Govahos, Max Attacks, things like that. We're still doing all that, still finding success, but it's it's kind of neat showing some of these um, off-the-wall attacks. So on this one, K7, he's going to bring the double Zap Quake. He's going to zap two air defenses, and he's going to let his uh, Archer Queen walk and take out these two bottom air defenses. You can see this isn't the greatest base design. Um, you know, all four air defenses are on the outside. So with the extra 30 seconds that we get now, you can you can take a little more time, have that queen, you know, walk a little bit. And if they have some air defenses that are exposed, just like the Town Hall 10 uh, Archer Queen walks and stuff, uh, you know, that's the good thing about, you know, the new update is we're seeing more creativity on attacks at Town Hall 9. Town Hall 9 got a little bit easier. So, you know, now the, now the thing is getting creative with it. You, you're seeing you know newer newer attacks coming out so that's kind of cool you see there he's got the eight drags and then he had one in the clan castle with a couple loons also the healers are still on the queen the queen's gonna stay you know up this whole fight that's that's a nice thing got the dragons out ahead so the queen's just gonna go through that whole side Keep them pushed in, keep the drags pushed into the, the core of the base there so they don't have to come out and start cleaning up trash buildings. And we'll get her get her fast forward in a little bit. You can see just crushing the rest of the base. So good job, Chiefs. Again, uh, got the victory. It was a pretty solid clan, the internal clan there. I believe it might have been Brazilian. Uh, good clan. So... Uh, look forward to the next one, KC versus Immoral Thieves. Thanks for watching, guys.